Hey guys, so today I'm in a tourist resort called Golden Sands in the northeast of Bulgaria, located 17 kilometers from Varna city, downtown Varna. So I'm gonna do you a guided tour today and show you this lovely tourist resort. This is one of the biggest and most popular tourist resorts in Bulgaria and Golden Sands and the surrounding area gets over 2 million tourists a year coming here to Golden Sands and the surrounding area. Bulgaria itself gets over 6 million tourists a year, so it's a very touristy country. And to get here, you fly to Varna Airport, which is only about 20 minutes, 30 minutes drive away from here. Uh, to get here, there's um, direct buses through from Varna City. So you, first of all, you need to get to Varna City and then you can get here for two lever, which is one pound on a bus. Or you can org organize a transfer through Ryanair or Wizz Air or your airline company, and they'll do you a transfer for about 12 pounds to get you through to the resort in a shared transfer. So up and down here, there's lots of currency exchanges where you can change your money. And they have the rate uh, listed outside here. So it's 1.966. Um, that's when you're, um, when you're buying euros not selling so it's buy and sell so when you go into the currency exchange just ask them the price when you go inside it's probably about 1.9 or 1.86 or 1.9 at most of them but you must compare all different ones because the rates do vary in different ones here um, you can also change your money at the bank but you need your passport with you as well if you go to the bank um, and then you just get the bank rate which is quite similar really to what you get these currency exchange shops um, so I'll just walk you down the promenade and just show you what's going on here, what it's like in Golden Sands really. Um, there's lots of entertainment here. Um, to the right side you have the 6D cinema. So um, there's a cinema there, children would love it in there for example. And there's so many restaurants to choose from up and down here, up and down the promenade like this one here. Let's have a look at this terrace. Um, it's about six o'clock in the evening, so it's quite quiet. People eat a bit later on here, so they're not out and about yet. Um, but let's have a look. And you've got all the shops selling all kinds of different things up and down the prom here. Let's have a look at this one. This shop's called Rose Oil. And it's got some unusual things here in the window. Oh, and you can buy all kinds of cosmetic products inside that shop. And then next door you've got a shop, they're selling towels for 10 level, which is five pounds. Uh, so if you need a towel from the beach, you can buy it here. Everything you need, you can buy here in the resort actually, like bikinis, uh, swimwear, towels, beach balls, uh, bats and balls, all of that kind of thing. Uh, this shop here, she's selling all the designer clothing, all the football, all the football tops, the basketball tops. Uh, we've got Borussia Dortmund, we've got Barcelona, we've got a Ronaldo top there. We've got Haaland top there on the top and you can get the name of the player on the back of the football shirt as well. So in the middle, you can see the train that goes up and down all day. Um, that will take you to your hotel. And that's a cheap way to get around town because the, the train's quite reasonable in price, um, but actually taxis are very, very expensive here in Golden Sands. So I do recommend guys, you must avoid taxis when you're here. You can get the bus anywhere for one hour and it'll cost you one pound, which is two lever. The buses are brilliant here. They're air conditioned as well. So maybe uh, make use of the buses while you're here as well. There's lots of bus stops all over town. Everybody speaks very good English here. So just ask somebody uh, where the bus stop is and you can get the bus from here to Varna, for example, and see Varna city one day. Um, so here you can get the, um, the Black, Black Sea Mussels, and I do recommend you try the mussels when you're here. They're 15 level, which is about £7.50 for the mussels, and you'll get lots and lots of mussels for that price as well. Hello, Mr. Hello. Hello. Yes, the upside is the terrace, the very good. It's the food, the very nice. Thank you very much. Maybe try later on. Okay. Cheers, man. Cheers. So it's called La Balena Terrace. Cheers, ma'am. Thank you. And on the right side, we've got the King's Kitchen Bar and Diner. And it's my first time here in uh, Golden Sands, so I'm not sure. Normally I go to Sunny Beach. Uh, I've been to Nessa Bar, Sveti Vlas, but it's my first time in this part of Bulgaria, in the northeast of Bulgaria. Normally I'm going to the south side of Bulgaria, um, but this is very close to Romania. It's not far away from Romania at all. And there's lots and lots of tourists that come here from Romania. Um, the majority of tourists coming here from Germany, actually, 
Uh, you can fly here from eight different airports in Germany with Wizz Air and there's some other airlines that do it as well here. And you can fly here from with Ryanair from two airports in Poland, from Katowice or from Krakow. I, I got a flight here from Krakow in Poland. Uh, you can fly here from Liverpool with Wizz Air. You can fly here from Vienna, from Israel, uh, from Holland, from so many different places. So here you can get all your copies. You can get all the caps, like uh, the night caps. You can get, um, what other brands have they got here? Like Adidas and stuff like that. All the main names, Gucci, Armani. You can get all your designer sunglasses as well here. They've got some nice colors like bright yellow and orange and pink. People wear lots of bright colors here in, uh, in Bulgaria because it's a holiday resort. So, and you've got all your souvenir shops here selling uh, children's toys, some really nice children's toys there as well. It's a family resort. It's perfect here for families really. And there's, um, there's an amusement park here as well with all the fairground rides, you know, your big wheels and stuff and all the stuff the children like. And on the right side, we have a, a slot machine arcade with all the games as well that the children can play. They've got all the rides up and down for children like you can see there on the right side. It's all set up here for families as well. And there's the black pearl on the left side. It's like, it looks like a big boat. And that's a restaurant. You go up, you get a sea view. Uh, they've got seafood on the grill. They've got all kinds of different things that you can try there. Let's have a little look at the menu at the Black Pearl and have a look at the prices here. Um, so you can get some fish there for 58 lever. So that's uh, about 28 pounds. Uh, but there's some other fish that's cheaper on here, actually. You can get the salmon fillet for 26 lever. That's 13 pounds. You can get the sea bass there. There's no price on the sea bass there. Um, there's no price on the sea bream there. Um, I can see the blue fish is 26 level, which is 13 pounds. Um, the lobster, it says 40 lever. I'm not sure how much lobster you get. 89, that. 89 45 euro. Oh, it's 45 euro for the lobster. Yep, yep. Very nice. I like lobster. English, Lovely. <laughs> The and muscle is the eating and the muscle is the taking the farm is the very clear is good and the top is the wonderful 18 look. lever for the muscles yeah 18 and how much how many muscles do you get 500 grams 500 grams of muscles yeah so i recommend the muscles here guys because the muscles are local from the black sea and you can try the um how many people is the group this is octopus um, no, not, not for me today, mate. I'm making a tour. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Um, yeah, guys, so I just wanted to show you the prices on the menus there. But like you can see, what you do when you go to the restaurants here, have a look at the prices on the menu and pick something off the menu with the price. Um, if, if you go into a shop and there's no price on something, um, it, the price is going to be high, so don't buy it. Like if you see, go into a shop and you see a T-shirt, it's got a price on it, you can buy it, and the price is probably quite reasonable. And um, it's the same with everything here, with all of these shops, um, they're open to negotiation. So when you want to buy something, you can negotiate inside the shop. They might ask you for, um, say, 40 lever for a t-shirt, and you might buy the t-shirt for 25 lever if you negotiate um, on the price as well. So you've got all the games up and down the promenade here. There's loads of games here for families and for children and everything. Yeah, it's very good. It's quite fun. It. How much is it, mate? It's 10 lever, mate. 10 level to shoot. 10 level to shoot, throw darts, throw the cans, everything is possible. And what do you win? You win big toys. What do you win? The toys, yeah. yeah. You win one toy, yeah. Yeah, one toy. Or one game, one toy. Yeah, thank you very much. You're Cheers, welcome. man. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah, these games are great fun. Uh, ice cream stall there on the left side as well. Let's have a look. I'm sorry, uh, how much is the ice cream here? Oh, 100 grams. Okay. So yeah, you pay four level, which is like two pounds for an ice cream here. So that's quite reasonable. And you can buy pancakes here as well on the left side. Uh, they've got the menu in English there as well for the pancakes, which is really good. So one thing that um, I experienced here, guys, I mean, I've been in this resort for nearly a week now and I've been to lots of restaurants and bars here. You must always check the menu and check the prices on the menu and order something off the menu. Because if you just kind of go into the bar and you say, I want this whiskey and this Coke or, you know, I want this beer or whatever, you'll spend a lot of money and I keep getting given the wrong change. It's happened a number of times in a number of places now where they've given me the incorrect change. 
I was in a bar yesterday, I went in for a pint of beer, I asked for a pint of Bulgarian beer for example, and um, they charged me eight leather for the beer. And I said to the guy, are you sure it's eight leather? Because I'd already looked at the menu the previous day and it was actually five leather. So make sure you check the menu before you order a drink because there can be mistakes or you can be overcharged. Um, and it's happened to me three times now this holiday. Um, I love it here. It's a really, really lovely place. And I do recommend it here for a holiday. There's so many good restaurants here. The beaches are yellow and sandy. The majority of Bulgarian people are really friendly and really nice here. I do really, really like it here as well. Look at the gardens here, just absolutely beautiful gardens on the restaurants as well. And you can see the menus outside here too. If you have a look at the menus here, you can see pictures of the food, like the steak looks fantastic there on the left side. And you can get the lamb kebab there at the bottom. You can get a chicken steak. These chicken steaks are very popular here. Um, when you're in Bulgaria, you must try some Bulgarian food when you're here as well, guys. Um, as for a kabama stew, or you could try a satch, which is also similar as well with meat in it. Um, you could try, I recommend you the moussaka. That's my favorite dish here. I have when I come to Bulgaria. Moussaka is only 10 lever in most places, which is about five pounds and you get an absolutely delicious moussaka. Just like you eat when you're in Greece, it's very similar, very similar to a Greek moussaka, really. It tastes a little bit like a lasagna. Uh, really, really delicious food. And if you like soup, try the cold tarator soup. I really like the tarator soup as well when I come here to Bulgaria. <laughs> so straight ahead, you have the Serena cocktail bar, so you can chill out there on the terrace. It's quiet right now because everybody's still on the beach. Um, the weather's really, really hot today. It's been about 34 degrees today, actually, guys. Super, super hot. The beaches are really, really busy. And then when it gets to nighttime, everybody's going to be out and about uh, in all the bars and the restaurants on the main promenade. So straight ahead on the right side, you have a Georgian restaurant um, from Georgia, quite close to Russia and Eastern Europe. And um, you, can, you can try Georgian food there. That's quite unique really, because like in Liverpool, my home city, we don't have any restaurants from Georgia. So that would be nice to try. They do have some in Krakow in Poland where I live actually, they do have some Georgian restaurants there as well. Let's see what they've got. They've got um, veal steaks. They've got stuffed rabbit. Uh, I wouldn't like that very much. I wouldn't like to eat a rabbit. Um, they've got a grilled sea bream. That would be nice. I do like fish and seafood. That's my favorite and you can get the salmon shashlik. That looks really nice there too. So yeah, if you wanna fly here from England, you're gonna be flying from London basically or Liverpool, they're the two airports I know that fly here directly with Wizz Air. Um, Wizz Air is the main airline that flies here direct from, uh, from England. It takes you about three hours 45 to fly here from England guys. So uh, um, it's, it's not as quick as my flight. My flight was one and a half hours because I was flying from Poland. So my flight was so quick to get here. And uh, I paid about 850 Polish Zloty for my flight to get here, including the bags. Um, from England, the flights are kind of expensive right now because it's the peak season in July. This is the main holiday season now. So the flights are about 250 or 300 pounds return when you add your bags on. That's what you're gonna pay guys. Now, if you like shopping, this is one of the best places in Europe if you like shopping, because there's so many shops all up and down the promenade. There's so many possibilities of things to buy, so many options. You can buy all your copies here as well. Um, you can buy like uh, Armani, Nike, Adidas, Gucci, whatever name you want. You can buy bags, you can buy hats, you can buy caps, you can buy belts, um, t-shirts and jumpers. Uh, you can buy all your designer shorts here with Armani and Hugo Boss on them. You can buy it all here as well. That's one for the children on the left side with, you know, all the rides that you have up and down in these tourist resorts. They've got it all here as well. And the front of the promenade is just lined with um, hundreds and hundreds of hotels here up and down. Um, the resort was actually developed in 1957 um, as a communist holiday resort back then and they opened hundreds and hundreds of hotels. They opened campsites. They developed all the uh, tourist infrastructure over about 10 or 20 year period of time. 
and um, got the resort all together and now it's a booming international holiday resort. Um, first of all it was mostly like um, tourists from the communist countries coming uh, from the east of Europe at first and then now it's very popular with people from Germany, there's British tourists, uh, there's tourists here from Romania, there's tourists coming from so many different countries, um, there's direct flights here from Lithuania as well um, with, uh, with Ryanair, you can fly direct from Lithuania, from Vienna in Austria, you can fly here as well. So you see these trains going up and down every day, they'll take you directly to your hotel or to the Grand Mall, which is the shopping centre here as well. And the currency here is uh, Bulgarian leather, so two leather is one pound, uh, well actually it's about, yeah, about 2.2 .2 leather is one pound and about two leather is one euro more or less obviously you don't get that when you change your money because some of them charge commission as well so um you have to watch that let me just swing around and straight ahead in the center you have the the eiffel tower of golden sands and on the left side you have the big wheel of golden sands where you can get views of the whole coastline. I do recommend you have a go on the big wheel guys as well. And um, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col. And that's Col with a C-O-L. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.